Guys, I have found the solution. EA have finally solved the problem to Team of the Season Ben Yether, Player of the Month Ben Yether, 85 Ben Yether, 86 Ben Yether. One eternity later. Regular Ben Yether, 83 Ben Yether, and all the Ben Yethers you can ask for. I have found the solution, and that is EKO para Team of the Season So Far card. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA video. This is Leo here. And like I said, Opara, man. Opara looks like a monster. He looks like the most broken center back in the game, the best defender, the fastest defender, the most headache defender, whatever you want to name him. He is definitely that 92 rated center back and look at those stats at the card 96 pace 91 defending 95 physical ah yeah yeah you thought uh team of the season baran and van dyke were a problem this is gonna be the real problem 62 medium height right footed perfect work rates and perfect height for a center back let's look at the in-game stats wait i did buy him for 340k he should be dropping and nowadays now he's not extinct anymore so you should be able to pick him up under 300k now for the pace 90 acceleration and 99 sprint speed for a center back it is astonishing i've never seen something like that in my entire life so wow he should be able to catch up to everybody and everybody coming towards him and then on to the shooting really irrelevant so i'm just gonna skip that on to the passing guys elite level passing for a center back 99 short passing and 95 long passing is wow 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 he should be getting it to the midfield and attackers 99 percent of the time and i should definitely i definitely will test that out and then on to the dribbling guys 99 agility on a center back and 94 <laughs> balance talk about meta this is the most meta defender the most broken defender and i can't wait to try him 99 reactions a key stat for a defender it, it helps them react to interceptions and standing tackles or whenever you're passing on the ball and having it that at maxed out is just phenomenal 80 ball control really good and then 96 composure he should make those key tackles at the 90th minute of the weekend league games and now on to his best stat aside from the pace of defending at 91 89 interceptions 88 defensive awareness and 93 standing tackle I have put a Sentinel, I believe. Yeah, I put a Sentinel on him just to max out that defending and just make him more of the United States wall. And then lastly, the physical guys. 99 jumping, 85 stamina, 98 strength, and 95 aggression. He basically has the physical stats maxed out. Man, man, man. This is going to be a problem to get through. So excited to try him out. Traits, injury prone, and power header. Can he live up to the hype as the most broken defender in FIFA 20? We shall see. So let's get on to the review. I hope you're ready to see the great wall of FIFA 20, the great wall of the MLS. Oh my goodness, Ike Opara 92 rated team of the season card is tremendous. The best center back I have reviewed this year. Am I saying he's better than Baran, team of the season, or team of the season Van Dyke? No, I'm just saying well, the players that I have reviewed... Oike Opara trumps them all. Wow, wow, wow. And I have reviewed a lot of good center backs. Upamecano, team of the season. Homos, team of the season. What's his name? Sergio Ramos, team of the season. And this Opara is just so broken. And he actually, I'm going to spoil it right now. He lives up to the hype as the most broken defender in FIFA 20 in FIFA history. Oh, my goodness. And you can tell right away from this car. That's why he had so much hype. That's why it was extinct because of that 96 pick. 91 defending and 95 physical man that is exactly what you need in a center back to be elite in this game and Opara has it in strides get ready to see a lot of standing tackles a lot of interceptions a lot of running from Opara up the field I was just testing his speed and wow he was actually getting up the field and actually creating something like a midfielder so that is a good sight to see and as well as just the defending and physicality and him catching up to players it's just a hundred percent assured if you want to put your life savings on one defender to stop team of the season Ben Yedder this is the answer 92 rated Ike Opara team of the season card wow I mean yeah as you can tell I am astonished this card was fantastic and I was playing at a time where the Europeans were out and most of the players were good and really good at the division and yeah really good stuff he was stopping everybody and when I say everybody I say 
everybody. It doesn't matter who it was. He was a wall back there with Maldini. Now let's break it down into sections, guys. The number one thing Opara has always been known for is that pace. And this one is just wow. 96 pace, which equals to 90 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. That is a key stat because when he reaches top speed, he stays there at a fast pace. And that is a wonderful thing to have in a center back, especially whenever you're getting caught on a counter attack. Or you're going to see that I let the goal ball go just to test out that theory of his sprint speed and wow he was catching up to everybody man on to the passing guys the 80 passing elite level passing like i said in the intro and it definitely does show 99 short passing and 95 long passing are definitely felt on the pitch he was getting it to the midfield he was getting it to the attackers and when i occasionally made that run forward which was just crazy just testing out his uh, ability to play in the game he was getting it to the strikers what can i say good stuff there from the passing and he gets a 10 out of 10 passing from me and now on to the dribbling of 83 what really helps this card and what really makes it broken and super meta is that agility and balance it is rare for a center back to have that high agility and high balance man not even Cristiano Ronaldo has that high balance and agility and that is crazy for Opara out of nowhere just to have 99 agility and 94 balance OMG and that is a key thing for him to catch up feel agile and whenever you're moving side to side guys this guy just feels so not heavy he just feels so light on the side to side defending which was just astonishing because he does have like a stocky body type I'm not gonna lie but he does not feel clunky I, I reviewed Upamecano and he felt really clunky I'm not gonna lie but this Opara was just a different story and that is just because of that agility and balance and then I don't even want to talk about his reactions man his reactions are part to none the best reactions I have played this year in a center back because he was just reacting to everything the interceptions the standing tackles whenever you passed him the ball for him to control he was reacting accordingly he was very responsive on the pitch so that is a gg right there 96 composure makes him super clutch and he will make you that game winning saving tackle at the end of foot champs games and now on to the defending guys i am so tired of talking because this card has so much pros 91 defending yeah man 89 interceptions and that 93 standing tackle definitely just press circle or b depending on what system you have and he will get you that ball back from that attack 99% of the time this guy is so overpowered it's a joke man and then now on to the physical of 95 man that 99 jumping really does show I did not test it from a corner but I did test it when the goalkeeper was kicking it off his side and he was winning those headers against everybody man it doesn't matter who it was he was winning that ball back and that is a really good thing to have because I liked having possession and he was getting me that ball back so good stuff there the strength and aggression is just you already know you get what you're gonna get with 98 strength and 90 aggression so I really don't have to go in depth this guy's a really strong player he goes to the gym every day and it definitely shows on the pitch now let's talk about the price he's currently going for around 318k on PlayStation and 350 on Xbox one and talk about a steal a bargain for your coins I know the only reason he's going for that low is because of the league but in a game where Baran's going for a million coins and Van Dyke is going for about 1.7 you got this card which is equally as good at the as those cars just because it's so overpowered and yeah man what a bargain 300k is a steal and that leads me to the only con on this card that prevents this guy from being a perfect defender and it is not his fault and that is the league and the nation they are not that many good links unless you have icons or that uh or a green link from the other team of the season center back robinson i believe but aside from that it is really hard to link them up but anyways that'll be the end of the gameplay portion of the review let's go on to the final thoughts on this opa Team of the Season So Far card. So as you can tell guys, I really like this Opara Team of the Season So Far card. He lived up to my expectations and to the hype. So good stuff on him. Nearly the perfect defender if it wasn't for his nation and league. But aside from that, that's why he's going to garner a 9.5 out of 10 rating for me. Like I said, perfect defender. And yeah, let's go on to the recommended chem styles. Number one is going to be a guardian, guys. Increase that dribbling and increase that defending. Basically max out the defending and you are good to go the only reason i don't do a sentinel is because his physical stats already maxed out so you're kind of wasting some chemistry style points and then the second one is going to be an anchor increase that acceleration plus five make it a 95 max out the defending and max out the physical and you are good to go he probably would play better with an anchor to be honest now that i'm thinking about it
it. Now, on to the foot champs test. Is he a starter? Absolutely, guys. If you can link this guy up, you are set. You built your wall. He's an end game center back. So, yeah, starter passes the test with flying colors. And lastly, the similar players number one is going to be that team of the season, Baran. Very pacey, good defending, good physical, and basically walls, man. Basically, big walls on defense. And then the second one is going to be Joe Gomez. Again, I went with the pacier defending because Opara is known to be a super pacey defender, and that is what Joe Gomez is. So, yeah, those are my two similar players. Save your coins and try to get this Opara and link him up because he is a beast, man. Super beast, lives up to the hype. And, yeah, that'll be the end of this review. Hopefully, that helped you decide what you want to do with this Opara. If you packed them, you got them in your red picks or you got them in your guaranteed or untradeable or whatever, hopefully this helped you out. Then that's why I do these reviews. Before I let you go, I just want to say thank you so much for your support on Instagram and YouTube lately. Y'all have been killing it with the support, and I love seeing that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram under footleo underscore FC. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to DM me or comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And guys, one last favor. Please take a second out of your day and like this video so I can see if you are liking these voiceover reviews on centerbacks. But that'll be all for today. This is Leo. I bid you goodbye and good night.